Okay, folks, this is Tom and Jonathan. We're back inside the chicken house one more time. We're gonna talk one more tool that most folks are not gonna have. You know, we have one, it's, re it's well, I say we have one, it's not ours. I basically just have it borrowed from the folks over at Animal Science, but they let me use it. What we're talking about is something called a thermal camera. And thermal cameras are very, very good at finding places where you might have an air leak that you don't want, say around your loadout door or around your entrance door, or they're good at finding problems in your ceiling, problems in the attic. You can shoot the ceiling, you can shoot your tri-ply, and it will find places where something's wrong up there, where the insulation is shifted, where there's not any insulation up there, where all you've got is just your vapor barrier. So it's a really, really good tool to have if you're trying to figure out where your air leaks are that you don't want, if you want to try to tighten up the house, and figure out whether you've got insulation problems in your attic. Now, these are not quite like the other tools that we've showed the last couple of videos. You know, those were reasonably inexpensive. You can pick up most of those things for $100 or less. Thermal cameras are very, very expensive. This is not a really, really good thermal camera, but this one is about $5,000. A really, really good one is about $25,000. So they are very expensive, but they are very good tools and they're very useful if you're trying to figure out whether you've got air leaks or whether you've got problems in your attic. And if you have concerns about something like that, and you would like for us to bring this thermal camera to your farm and help you figure out where your problems are, we would be happy to do that. You know, I try to do that at least a few times a year to help folks figure out what they need to be working on, where their air leaks are, whether they've got enough insulation in the attic. It's a very, very good tool to have. And I'm gonna let Jonathan talk a little bit about how this thing is actually used. All right, well, first we'll just go ahead and, and kind of let you take a look at the display here. It's pretty simple. It shoots a, a picture of what you're looking at. It's got a laser pointer where you can pinpoint a particular area that you're, you're looking at. And that corresponds to the crosshairs in the middle. All right, the chicks, they are running, that chick right there is running 90, 97, 96 degrees. The litter temp or this feed pan right here is running 88. So that, that shows you. The warmer the object is, it comes through as a red color. The cooler it is, it'll be a, a blue color. And you can just shoot areas in your house if you're wanting to pinpoint areas in your ceiling where you think you've got hot spots in the summertime where you've got radiant heat coming through where your insulation is shifted, you can shoot that ceiling. And uh, in a perfect house with perfect insulation, the whole ceiling should be the same color. If it's winter time and you got a spot this this uh leaching in cold air because there's no there's no uh insulation there it'll show up as blue in the summertime it'll show up as red but it kind of gives you an idea of of what you're looking at if you've got insulation that's dropped down in your wall uh we'll look at this vent here we've got we've got air coming through this vent and as you see that area is is showing blue it's 86 degrees if we come on down the wall, it's showing 87 degrees and it's a little bit different color there. So it kind of, and you can also, it's got a, it's got a function where you can, if you find a spot in a house, you can, you can take a picture of it and it'll freeze that picture and it'll save it. So you can bring it up later and, and you can show someone kind of where their issues are and what they look like in their house. All right, folks, that kind of tells you a little bit about what this thing is capable of. Again, it's a really, really good tool to have. They are pricey, but it's a good tool in helping you find where you may have issues either with insulation that is shifted or no insulation at all, or if you've got air leaks around your loadout doors, footings, places like that. That's not really a big issue right now in terms of a lot of cold air leaks in the middle of August but October is just around the corner. So if we can help you with that, let us know and we'll be glad to come to your farm and try to help you use this to help you figure out where you've got problems. With that, we'll sign off until next time, so stay safe.